What's good with y'all, man? Y'all back to me. You boy, child, let's discuss that. And then I'm going to just finish up. Oh, this is part two to my mental illness and drug addiction. And I got cut off with my arm. Um, I was talking about my father and stuff like that. Like I said, um, once again, I, I've i seen it and I've dealt with it with my father with the addiction. And like I said, a lot of times it be mental disorders that causing people to be depressed and stuff like that. So they use the drugs as an outlet to bring fun and excitement to alcohol, drugs, and stuff like that. So like I said, my, my dad always, yes, he was addicted to drugs and stuff like that. But yeah, he, he always tried to give me stuff and do stuff for me. And I always appreciate it even though he had this addiction and we really didn't spend a lot of time together growing up but like i said my mom always told me to always love my father always forgive him and always give him another chance and i've always done that and man his relationship will always be the same i always love my father no matter what you know what i'm saying so i always think like a lot of times in our communities that women are down men so much and don't allow the kids the opportunity to have a great relationship with their father because they destroy his image so much and make him into this monster. Like I say, many people make mistakes like and they're dealing with mental illnesses and sickness. My father lost his mother at a young age. She was, uh, I think it was a drunk driver or something like that. It was an accident that took her life, basically. And so you, to, for a kid to lose their mother at a young age, the effects of that psychologically will mess a person up completely. You see what I'm saying? That's why I be saying you don't know the origin of why this person is doing that. That's why I always say it's good to see somebody hurting or down and reach your hand out and say, brother or sister, come here. Let me give you that love that you need and just talk to him or be there for him. You feel what I'm saying? That's all it takes, man, is a conversation. And a lot of people run away from that and they, they feel like they too big to give people that, man. I'm not too big to do that. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do I use my platform to talk about different issues, different stuff. I talk about it all. You know what I'm saying? I'm a God friend, man. You feel me? God first always. You know what I'm saying? So for, in my house, man, it's God, family, you know what I'm saying? Then the finances. But God is always first in our house. You see what I'm saying? We may not be the most perfectest people in the world. We might not be the most educated people in the world. But we're going to always put God first and believe in his great and amazing power and all his manifesting abilities that he could bring to our life. And that's why I always say, man, we're not perfect at all. You know what I'm saying? We're striving, and we are going to become great at all the things that we desire to do. But like I say, the origin of why people are addicted to drugs and having these mental disorders come from somewhere. My mother never knew her father. Never knew him. And her mom was in an institution for like her whole entire life. You know what I'm saying? She really never had a, a relationship with her mother, never knew her father ever. You know what I'm saying? Never having those days with your dad that they could run around the park and, and get to know him and have those experiences. My mom never had that. Every man she ever had in her life was always somebody that done it wrong. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, that's the origin of her becoming the way she become now. Where well, you see her now, and it's, it's being beat up and mistreated for so many years. And it's like, look at this. The community that we are creating and things are we, we are doing. We got to stop it. And me as a man, I feel like that's, that's another topic I'm going to talk about. This dad, dad beat dads out here. You know what I'm saying? We got to stop it, man. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, man, that's the origin of it. Never having a man that you ever knew in your life that was ever good to you. Everybody that was good to you had a purpose of trying to use you in some form or fashion. And my mother never got the, the opportunity to experience great relationships with any man. Not her father, not nothing. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the origin of how she became sick mentally with the depressions and the, the things that she's going through now. Our society will destroy you and kill you. You know what I'm saying? Because people don't know how to love each other and be great to each other without getting paid or getting some money from it. You know what I'm saying? That's why my platform, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. I don't like it. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, man, I appreciate y'all giving me y'all time. I love that y'all tuned in to me, man. It's time let's discuss that. And I'm going to keep talking to y'all. Keep bringing y'all great topics, man. I love y'all, man. Peace, love, and greatness. You know what I'm saying? And put that, put God first at all times. Put God first all times. All times.